MSN exam for hematologic problems. Question 1. You are reviewing the complete blood count CBC for a client who has been admitted for knee arthroscopy. Which value is most important to report to the physician prior to surgery? A. White blood cell count 16,000-3. B. Hematocrit 33%. C. Platelet count 426,000-3. D. Hemoglobin 10.9 grams slash DL. Answer, A. An elevation in white blood cells may indicate that the client has an infection, which would likely require rescheduling of the surgical procedure. The other values are slightly abnormal, but would not be likely to cause post-operative problems for knee arthroscopy. Focus, Prioritization Question 2. A new RN is preparing to administer packed red blood cells PRBCs to a client whose anemia was caused by blood loss after surgery. Which action by the new RN requires that you, as charge nurse, intervene immediately? A. The new RN waits 20 minutes after obtaining the PRBCs before starting the infusion. B. The new RN starts an intravenous line for the transfusion using a 22 gauge catheter. C. The new RN primes the transfusion set using 5% dextrous in lactated ringers solution. D. The new RN tells the client that the PRBCs may cause a serious transfusion reaction. MSN exam for hematologic problems. Answer, C. Normal saline, an isotonic solution should be used when priming the four-line to avoid causing hemolysis of RBCs. Ideally, blood products should be infused as soon as possible after they are obtained, however, a 20-minute delay would not be unsafe. Large gauge 4 catheters are preferable for blood administration, if a smaller catheter must be used, normal saline may be used to dilute the RBCs. Although it is appropriate to instruct clients to notify the nurse if symptoms of a transfusion reaction such as shortness of breath or chest pain occur, it will cause unnecessary anxiety to indicate that a serious reaction is likely to occur. Focus, Prioritization Question 3. A 32-year-old client with a history of sickle cell anemia is admitted to the hospital during a sickle cell crisis. The physician orders all of these interventions. Which order will you implement first? A. Give morphine sulfate 4 to 8 mg for every hour as needed. B. Start a large gauge 4 line and infuse normal saline at 200 ml slash hour. C. Immunize with Nemovix and Haemophilus influenzae vaccines. D. Administer oxygen at an F102 of 100% per non-rebreather mask. Answer, D. Hypoxia and deoxygenation of the red blood cells are the most common cause of sickling, so administration of oxygen is the priority intervention here. Pain control and hydration are also important interventions for this client and should be accomplished rapidly. Vaccination may help prevent future sickling episodes by decreasing the risk of infection, but it will not help with the current sickling crisis. Focus, Prioritization MSN exam for hematologic problems Answer, C. Normal saline, an isotonic solution, should be used when priming the four-line to avoid causing hemolysis of RBCs. Ideally, 
blood products should be infused as soon as possible after they are obtained, however, a 20-minute delay would not be unsafe. Large gauge 4 catheters are preferable for blood administration, if a smaller catheter must be used, normal saline may be used to dilute the RBCs. <laughs> MSN exam for hematologic problems Question 6. You are making a room assignment for a newly arrived client whose laboratory testing indicates bancetalpenia. All of these clients are already on the nursing unit. Which one will be the best room made for the new client? A. The client with digoxin toxicity. B. The client with viral pneumonia. C. The client with shingles. D. The client with cellulitis. Question 2. A new RN is preparing to administer packed red blood cells PRBCs to a client whose anemia was caused by blood loss after surgery. Which action by the new RN requires that you, as charge nurse, intervene immediately? A. The new RN waits 20 minutes after obtaining the P. Question 7. A client admitted to the hospital with a sickle cell crisis complains of severe abdominal, hip, and knee pain. You observe an LPN accomplishing these client care tasks. Which one requires that you, as charge nurse, intervene immediately? A. The LPN encourages the client to use the ordered PCA. B. The LPN positions cold packs on the client's knees. C. The LPN places a no-visitor sign on the client's door. D. The LPN checks the client's temperature every two hours. MSN exam for hematologic problems. Answer, B. The joint pain that occurs in sickle cell crisis is caused by obstruction to blood flow by the sickled red blood cells. The appropriate therapy for this client would be application of moist heat to the joints to cause vacidilation and improve circulation. Because control of pain is a priority during sickle cell crisis, there is no need to restrict hall visitors or to check the temperature every two hours. Focus, Prioritization Answer, C. Normal saline, an isotonic solution, should be used when priming the four-line to avoid causing hemolysis of RBCs. Ideally, blood products should be infused as soon as possible after they are obtained, however, a 20-minute delay would not be unsafe. Large gauge 4 catheters are preferable for blood administration, if a smaller catheter must be used, 
normal saline may be used to dilute the RBCs. Although it is appropriate to instruct clients to notify the nurse MS in exam for hematologic problems. Question 3 a 32-year-old client with a history of sickle cell anemia is admitted to the hospital during a sickle cell crisis. The physician orders all of these interventions. Which order will you implement first? A. Give morphine sulfate 4 to 8 mg for every hour as needed. B. Start a large gauge 4 line and infuse normal saline at 200 ml slash hour. C. Immunize with Nemovix and Haemophilus Influenzae vaccines. D. Administer oxygen at an F102 of 100% per non rebreather mask. <laughs> Answer, B. The joint pain that occurs in sickle cell crisis is caused by obstruction to blood flow by the sickled red blood cells. The appropriate therapy for this client would be application of moist heat to the joints to cause vacidilation and improve circulation. Because control of pain is a priority during sickle cell crisis, there is no need to restrict hall visitors or to check the temperature every two hours. Focus, Prioritization Question 7. A client admitted to the hospital. Question 1. You are reviewing the complete blood count CBC for a client who has been admitted for knee arthroscopy. Which value is most important to report to the physician prior to surgery? A. White blood cell count 16,000-3. Question 7. A client admitted to the hospital with a sickle cell crisis complains of severe abdominal, hip, and knee pain. You observe an LPN accomplishing these client care tasks. Which one requires that you, as charge nurse, intervene immediately? A. The LPN encourages the client to use the ordered PCA. B. The LPN positions cold packs on the client's knees. C. 
the LPN places a no visitor sign on the client's door. D. The LPN checks the client's temperature every two hours. MSN exam for hematologic problems. Question 3. A 32-year-old client. Question 7. A client admitted to the hospital with a sickle cell crisis complains of severe abdominal, hip, and knee pain. You observe an LPN accomplishing these client care tasks. Which one requires that you, as charge nurse, intervene immediately? <laughs> Answer, A. An elevation in Y. MSN exam for hematologic problems. Question 3. A 32-year-old client with a history of sickle cell anemia is admitted to the hospital during a sickle cell crisis. The physician orders all of these interventions. Which order will you implement first? A. Give morphine sulfate 4 to 8 mg for every hour as needed. B. Start a large gauge 4 line and infuse normal saline at 200 ml slash hour. C. Immunize with Nemovex and Haemophilus Influenzae vaccines. D. Administer oxygen at an F102 of 100% per non rebreather mask. Question 17, you obtain the following data about a client admitted with multiple myeloma. Which information has the most immediate implications for the client's care? A. The client complains of chronic bone pain. B. The blood uric acid level is very elevated. C. The 24-hour urine shows Vince Jones protein. D. The client is unable to plantar or flex the feet. MSN exam for hematologic problems. Answer, D. The lack of plantar flexion may indicate spinal cord compression, which should be evaluated and treated immediately by the physician to prevent further loss of function. While chronic bone pain, hyperarrhythmia, and the presence of Vince Jones protein in the urine all are typical focus, prioritization.
Question 7. A client admitted to the hospital with a sickle cell crisis complains of severe abdominal, hip, and knee pain. You observe an LPN accomplishing these client care tasks. Which one requires that you, as charge nurse, intervene immediately? A. The LPN encourages the client to use the ordered PCA. B. The LPN positions cold packs on the client's knees. C. The LPN places a no visitor sign on the client's door. D. The LPN checks the client's temperature every two hours. Answer D. The lack of plantar. Question 1 You are reviewing the complete blood count CBC for a client who has been admitted for knee arthroscopy. Which value is most important to report to the physician prior to surgery? A. White blood cell count 16,000/3. B. Hematocrit 33%. C. Platelet count 426,000/3. <laughs> Question 7. A client admitted to the hospital with a sickle cell crisis complains of severe abdominal, hip, and knee pain. You observe an LPN accomplishing these client care tasks. Which one requires that you, as charge nurse, intervene immediately? A. The LPN encourages the client to use the ordered PCA. B. The LPN positions cold packs on the client's knees. C. The LPN places a no visitor sign on the client's door. D. The LPN checks the client. Answer. D. The lack of plant reflection may indicate spinal cord compression, which should be evaluated and treated immediately by the physician to prevent further loss of function. While chronic bone pain, hyperuricemia, and the presence of Vince Jones protein in the urine all are typical focus. Prioritization. Answer C. Normal saline.
Question 22. A client with acute myelogenous leukemia is receiving induction phase chemotherapy. Which assessment information is of most concern? A. Serum potassium level of 7.8 mg, L. B. Urine output less than intake by 400 ml. C. Inflammation and redness of oral mucosa. D. A chemosis present on anterior trunk. Answer, C. Normal saline, an isotonic solution, should be used when priming the foreline to avoid causing hemolysis of RBCs. Ideally, blood products should be infused as soon as possible after they are obtained, however, a 20-minute delay would not be unsafe. Large gauge 4 catheters are preferable for blood administration, if a smaller catheter must be used, normal saline may be used to dilute the RBC. Question 17, you obtain the following data about a client admitted with multiple myeloma. Which information has the most immediate implications for the client's care? A. The client complains of chronic bone pain. B. The blood uric acid level is very elevated. C. The 24-hour urine shows Vince Jones protein. D. The client is unable to plantar or flex the feet. MSN exam for hematologic problems. Answer, C. Normal saline, an isotonic solution, should be used when priming the foreline to avoid causing hemolysis of RBCs. Ideally, blood products should be infused as soon as possible after they are obtained, however, a 20-minute delay would not be unsafe. Large gauge 4 catheters are preferable. Question 17, you obtain the following data about a client admitted with multiple myeloma. Which information has the most immediate implications for the client's care? A. The client complains of chronic bone pain. B. The blood uric acid level is very MSN exam for hematologic problems.
Answer, C. Good sources of vitamin B12 include meats and dairy products. Whole grains are a good source of thiamine. Green leafy vegetables are good sources of niacin, folate, and crotoids precursors of vitamin A. Broccoli and Brussels sprouts are good sources of ascorbic acid vitamin C. Answer, D. The normal range of folic acid is 1.8 to 9 nanograms per milliliter, and the normal range of vitamin B12 is 200 to 900 pg per milliliter. A low folic acid level in the presence of a normal vitamin B12 level is indicative of a primary folic acid deficiency anemia. Factors that affect the absorption of folic acid are drugs such as methotrexate, oral contraceptives, anti-azure drugs, and alcohol. The total bilirubin, serum creatinine, and hemoglobin values are within normal limits. Question 1. You are reviewing the complete blood count CBC for a client who has been admitted for knee arthroscopy. Which value is most important to report to the physician prior to surgery? A. White blood cell count 16,000-3. B. Hematocrit 33%. C. Platelet count for 26,000. Answer, B. The defining characteristic of pernicious anemia, a megaloblastic anemia, is lack of the intrinsic factor, which results from atrophy of the stomach wall. Without the intrinsic factor, vitamin B12 cannot be absorbed in the small intestines and folic acid needs vitamin B12 for DNA synthesis of RBCs. The gastroc analysis was done to determine the primary cause of the anemia. An elevated excretion of the injected radioactive vitamin B12, which is protocol for the first and second stage of the Schilling test, indicates that the client has the intrinsic factor and can absorb vitamin B12 into the intestinal tract. A sedimentation rate of 16 mm hour is normal for both men and women and is a nonspecific test to detect the presence of inflammation. It is not specific to anemias. An RBC value of 5.0 million is a normal value for both men and women and does not indicate anemia. Answer, D. The normal range of Question 1. You are reviewing the complete blood count CBC for a client who has been admitted for knee arthroscopy. Which value is most important to report to the physician prior to surgery? A. White blood cell count 16,000-3. B. Hematocrit 33%. C. Platelet count for 26,000-3. D. 
hemoglobin 10.9 grams slash DL. Question 31. A client comes into the health clinic three years after undergoing a resection of the terminal ileum complaining of weakness, shortness of breath, and a sore tongue. Which client statement indicates a need for intervention and client teaching? A. I have been drinking plenty of fluids. B. I have been gargling with warm salt water for my sore tongue. C. I have three to four loose stools per day. D. I take a vitamin B12 tablet every day. Question 22, a client with acute myelogenous leukemia is receiving induction phase chemotherapy. Which assessment information is of most concern? A. Serum potassium level of 7.8 mEq, L. B. Urine output less than intake by 400 ml. C. Inflammation and redness of oral mucosa. D. Achemosis present on anterior trunk. Question 31. A client comes into the health clinic three years after undergoing a resection of the terminal ileum complaining of weakness, shortness of breath, and a sore tongue. Which client statement indicates a need for intervention and client teaching? A. I have been drinking plenty of fluids. B. I have been gargling with warm salt water for my sore tongue. C. I have three to four loose stools per day. D. I take a vitamin B12 tablet every day. Question 22, a client with acute myelogenous leukemia is receiving induction phase chemotherapy. Which assessment information is of most concern? A. Serum potassium level of 7.8 mEq, L. B. Urine output less than intake by 400 ml. C. Inflammation and redness of oral mucosa. D. Achemosis present on anterior trunk.
Question 31. A client comes into the Answer, D. The normal range of folic acid is 1.8 to 9 nanograms per milliliter, and the normal range of vitamin B12 is 200 to 900 pg per milliliter. A low folic acid level in the presence of a normal vitamin B12 level is indicative of a primary folic acid deficiency anemia. Factors that affect the absorption of folic acid are drugs such as methotrexate, oral contraceptives, anti-azure drugs, and alcohol. The total bilirubin, serum creatinine, and hemoglobin values are within normal limits. Question 31. A client comes into the health clinic three years after undergoing a resection of the terminal ileum complaining of weakness, shortness of breath, and a sore tongue. Which client statement indicates a need for intervention and client teaching? A. I have been drinking plenty of fluids. B. I have been gargling with warm salt water for my sore tongue. C. I have three to four loose stools per day. D. I take a vitamin B12 tablet every day. Answer, B. The normal physiologic response to activity is an increased metabolic rate over the resting basal rate. The decrease in respiratory rate indicates that the client is not strong enough to complete the mechanical cycle of respiration needed for gas exchange. The post-activity pulse is expected to increase immediately after activity but by no more than 50 BPM if it is strenuous activity. The diastolic blood pressure is expected to rise but by no more than 15 mm Hg. The pulse returns to within 6 ppm of the resting pulse after 3 minutes of rest.
Answer, D. Hypoxia and deoxygenation of the red blood cells are the most common cause of sickling, so administration of oxygen is the priority intervention here. Pain control and hydration are also important interventions for this client and should be accomplished rapidly. Vaccination may help prevent future sickling episodes by decreasing the risk of infection, but it will not. Answer, A. An elevation in white blood cells may indicate that the client has an infection, which would likely require rescheduling of the surgical procedure. The other values are slightly abnormal, but would not be likely to cause postoperative problems for a knee arthroscopy. Focus, Prioritization Question 40 a client states that she is afraid of receiving vitamin B12 injections because of the potential toxic reactions. What is the nurse's best response to relieve these fears? A. Vitamin B12 will cause ringing and the eats before a toxic level is reached. B. Vitamin B12 may cause a very mild skin rash initially. C. Vitamin B12 may cause mild nausea but nothing toxic. D. Vitamin B12 is generally free of toxicity because it is water soluble. Answer, A. An elevation in
Answer, A. An elevation in white blood cells may indicate that the client has an infection, which would likely require rescheduling of the surgical procedure. The other values are slightly abnormal, but would not be likely to cause postoperative problems for a knee arthroscopy. Focus. Answer, B. The normal physiologic response to activity is an increased metabolic rate over the resting basal rate. The decrease in respiratory rate indicates that the client is not strong enough to complete the mechanical cycle of respiration needed for gas exchange. The post-activity pulse is expected to increase immediately after activity but by no more than 50 BPM if it is strenuous activity. The diastolic blood pressure is expected to rise but by no more than 15 mm Hg. Answer, B. The defining characteristic of pernicious anemia, a megaloblastic anemia, is lack of the intrinsic factor, which results from atrophy of the stomach wall. Without the intrinsic factor, vitamin B12 cannot be absorbed in the small intestines and folic acid needs vitamin B12 for DNA synthesis of RBCs. The gastroc analysis was done to determine the primary cause of the anemia. An elevated excretion of the injected radioactive vitamin B12, which is protocol for the first and second stage of the Schilling test, indicates that the client has the intrinsic factor and can absorb vitamin B12 into the intestinal tract. A sedimentation rate of 16 mm slash <laughs> Answer, B. The normal physiologic response to activity is an increased metabolic rate over the resting basal rate. The decrease in respiratory rate indicates that the client is not strong enough to complete the mechanical cycle of respiration needed for gas exchange. The post-activity pulse is expected to increase immediately after activity but by no more than 50 BPM if it is strenuous activity. The diastolic blood pressure is expected to rise but by no more than 15 mm Hg. The Answer, B. The defining characteristic Question 3. A 32-year-old client with a history of sickle cell anemia is admitted to the hospital during a sickle cell crisis. The physician orders all of these interventions. Which order will you implement first? A. Give morphine sulfate 4 to 8 mg for every hour as needed. B. Start a large answer. B. The joint pain that occurs in sickle cell crisis is caused by obstruction to blood flow by the sickled red blood cells. The appropriate therapy for this client would be application of moist heat to the joints to cause vacidilation and improve circulation. Because control of pain is a priority during sickle cell crisis. Question 1. You are reviewing the complete Answer, D. The normal range of folic acid is 1.8 to 9 nanograms per milliliter, and the normal range of vitamin B12 is 200 to 900 pg per milliliter. A low folic acid level in the presence of a normal vitamin B12 level is indicative of a primary folic acid deficiency anemia. Factors Question 48 Which of the following cells is the precursor to the red blood cell RBC? A. B cell. B. Macrophage. C. Stem cell. D. T cell.
Question 3. A 32-year-old client. Answer, B. The joint pain that occurs in sickle cell crisis is caused by obstruction to blood flow by the sickled red blood cells. The appropriate therapy for this client would be application of moist heat. Question 1. You are reviewing the complete blood count CBC for a client who has been admitted for knee arthroscopy. Which value is most important to report to the physician prior to surgery? A. White blood cell count 16,000/3. B. The answer, D. The normal range of f Answer, B. The defining characteristic of pernicious anemia, a megaloblastic anemia is lack of the intrinsic factor, which results from atrophy of the stomach wall. Question 3. A 32-year-old client with a history of sickle cell anemia is admitted to the hospital during a sickle cell crisis. The physician orders all of these interventions. Which order will you implement first? A. Give morphine sulfate 4 to 8 mg for every hour as needed. B. Start a large gauge four line and infuse normal saline at 200 milliliters slash hour. C. Immunize with Nemovix. Answer, B. The joint pain that occurs. Answer, D. The normal range of folic acid is 1.8 to 9 nanograms per milliliter, and the normal range of vitamin B12 is 200 to 900 pg per milliliter. A low folic acid level in the presence of a normal vitamin B12 level is indicative of a primary folic acid deficiency anemia. Factors that affect the absorption of folic acid are drugs such as methotrexate, oral contraceptives, and azure drugs, and Answer, B. The defining characteristic. Question 3. A 32-year-old client with a history of sickle cell anemia is admitted to the hospital during a sickle cell crisis. The physician orders all of these interventions. Which order will you implement first? A. Answer, B. The joint pain that occurs in sickle cell crisis is caused by obstruction to blood flow by the sickled red blood cells. The appropriate therapy for this client would be application of moist heat to the joints to cause vacillation and improve circulation. Because control of pain is a priority during Answer, D. The normal range of folic acid is 1.8 to 9 nanograms per milliliter, and the normal range of vitamin B12 is 200 to 900 pg per milliliter. A low folic acid level in the presence of a normal vitamin B12 level is indicative of Question 3. A 32-year-old client. Answer, C. Characteristic sickle cells tend to cause log jams in capillaries. This results in poor circulation to local tissues, leading to ischemia and necrosis. The basic defect in sickle cell disease is an abnormality in the structure of RBCs. The erythrocytes are sickle-shaped, rough in texture, and rigid. Sickle cell disease is an inherited disease, not an autoimmune reaction. Elevated serum bilirubin concentrations are associated with jaundice, not sickle cell disease. Question 40. A client states that she is afraid of receiving vitamin B12 injections because of the potential toxic reactions. What is the nurse's best response to relieve these fears? A. Vitamin B12 will cause ringing and the eats before a toxic level is reached. B. Vitamin B12 may cause a very mild skin rash initially. C. 
Vitamin B12 may cause mild nausea but nothing toxic. D. Vitamin B12 is generally free of toxicity because it is water soluble. MSN exam for hematologic problems. Answer, B. The normal physiologic response to activity is an increased metabolic rate over the resting basal rate. The decrease in respiratory rate indicates that the client is not strong enough to complete the mechanical cycle of respiration needed for gas exchange. The post-activity pulse is expected to increase immediately after activity but by no more than 50 BPM if it is strenuous activity. The diastolic blood pressure is expected to rise but by no more than 15 mm Hg. Question 40. A client states that she is afraid of receiving vitamin B12 injections because of the potential toxic reactions. What is the nurse's best response to relieve these fears? A. Vitamin B12 will cause ringing and the eats before a toxic level is reached. B. Vitamin B12 may cause a very mild skin rash initially. C. Vitamin B12 may cause mild nausea but nothing toxic. D. Vitamin M is an exam for hematologic problems. Answer, B. The joint pain that occurs. Answer, B. Children with iron deficiency anemia are more susceptible to infection because of marked decreases in bone marrow functioning with microcytosis. Answer, D. Hypoxia and deoxygenation of the red blood cells are the most common cause of sickling, so administration of oxygen is the priority intervention here. Pain control and hydration are also important interventions for this client and should be accomplished rapidly. Vaccination may help prevent future sickling episodes by decreasing the risk of infection, but it will not help with the current sickling crisis. Focus, Prioritization Question 40 a client states that she Question 6. You are making a room assignment for a newly arrived client whose laboratory testing indicates bancetopenia. All of these clients are already on the nursing unit. Which one will be the best roommate for the new client? A. The client with di- Question 48. Which of the following cells is the precursor to the red blood cell RBC? A. B cell. B. Macrophage. C. Stem cell. D. T cell. Answer, B. The defining character. Answer, B. Potato, peas, 
Chicken, green vegetables, and rice cereal contain significant amounts of iron and therefore would be recommended. Milk and yellow vegetables are not good iron sources. Rice by itself also is not a good source of iron. Question 40 A client states that she is afraid of receiving vitamin B12 injections because of the potential toxic reactions. What is the nurse's best response to relieve these fears? A. Vitamin B12 will cause ringing and the eats before a toxic level is reached. B. Vitamin B12 may cause a very mild skin rash initially. C. Vitamin B12 may cause mild nausea but nothing toxic. Answer, D. Hypoxia and E. Question 48. Which of the following cells is the precursor to the red blood cell RBC? A. B cell. B. Macrophage. C. Stem cell. D. T cell. Answer, B. Children with iron deficiency anemia are more susceptible to infection because of marked decreases in bone marrow functioning with microcytosis. Answer, B. The joint pain that occurs. Question 40 A client states that she is afraid of receiving vitamin B12 injections because of the potential toxic reactions. What is the nurse's best response to relieve these fears? A. Vitamin B12 will cause ringing and the eats before a toxic level is reached. B. Vitamin B12 may cause a very mild skin rash initially. C. Vitamin B12 may cause mild nausea but nothing toxic. D. Vitamin B12 is generally free of toxicity because it is water soluble. MSN exam for hematologic problems. Answer, B. The normal physiologic response to activity is an increased metabolic rate over the resting basal rate. The decrease in respiratory rate indicates that the client is not strong enough to complete the mechanical cycle of respiration needed for gas exchange. The post-activity pulse is expected to increase immediately after activity but by no more than 50 BPM if it is strenuous activity. Question 31. A client comes into the health clinic three years after undergoing a resection of the terminal ileum complaining of weakness, shortness of breath, and a sore tongue. Which client statement indicates a need for intervention and client teaching? A. I have been drinking plenty of fluids. B. I have been gargling with warm salt water from my sore tongue. C. I have three to four Question 40, a client states that she Question 7, a client admitted to the hospital with a sickle cell crisis complains of severe abdominal, hip, and knee pain. You observe an LPN accomplishing these client care tasks. Which one requires that you, as charge nurse, intervene immediately? A. The LPN encourages the client to use the ordered PCA. B. The LPN positions cold packs on the client's knees. C. The LPN places a no visitor sign on the client's door. Answer, B. The joint pain that occurs in sickle cell crisis is caused by obstruction to blood flow by the sickled red blood cells. The appropriate therapy for this client would be application of moist heat to the joints to cause vacillation and improve circulation. Because control of pain is a priority during sickle cell crisis, 
there is no need to restrict hall visitors or to check the temperature every two hours. Focus, prioritization. Answer, D. The lack of plantar. Answer, B. The joint pain that occurs in sickle cell crisis is caused by obstruction to blood flow by the sickled red blood cells. The appropriate therapy for this client would be application of moist heat to the joints to cause vacidilation and improve circulation. Because control of pain is a priority. <laughs> Answer, B. Potato, peas, chicken, green vegetables, and rice cereal contain significant amounts of iron and therefore would be recommended. Milk and yellow vegetables are not good iron sources. Rice by itself also is not a good source of iron. Answer, C. Characteristic sickle cells tend to cause log jams 